This is an honest review of growing peppers over the years. So come on in and I'll show you around. We've tried a few different things with peppers. We had them in a plastic greenhouse, which worked really well because it kept in the heat and peppers like heat and a little bit longer of a growing season. We haven't done that yet here because it's still under construction in our permanent greenhouse. So we still need to get some siding and um, trim put on here to seal in that heat. And that's why our peppers aren't quite as tall as they have been in years past. That would be one of the things we've learned is you got to make sure that they have lots of heat so they get really tall. But they are still doing really good. Um, they're growing fine. With peppers, a few things that we've battled over the years would be bugs. We seem to get worms and ants and things like that on there. So it's really treating that early on to keep that from eating away at the leaves and destroying the entire plant. Another thing I've learned is picking a few different varieties and planting them by each other. We did mostly orange and green peppers, which is working out fabulously, but we do usually do a jalapeno plant. And if you plant that too closely to the other ones, you do get a cross pollination and you get a little heat in your sweet pepper um, plants, which isn't the end of the world, but Obviously, if you want a sweet pepper, you don't want heat in it. So these have gone really well. In the greenhouse, we have our peppers in two different spots. We have these ones over here, and then I have some right over here. And something we learned pretty quickly with peppers was when we had them outside, we didn't use any sort of tomato cages or guides. And I do suggest 100% having some sort of cage like these because when we had them where they just free grew, they just tipped over kind of like this little one is and then the roots would pop up and then they wouldn't grow properly. So you want to make sure that you have something to guide them. And if you don't have a cage that's going to work, I would highly suggest like a stick you can tie them to or something um, just so they don't pop off and break like that one just did unfortunately. Lesson learned there, hard way. So I do need to get a stick in on this one to kind of guide it up. Peppers are a little tricky. They're one of the harder ones I feel like to grow than all the other stuff we grow here because they're very, you know, they have their own temperature that they really flourish in and they'll grow in other temperatures, but just not nearly as well. And also bugs. They seem to attract more bugs than other ones. We really haven't battled too much since we moved into this permanent greenhouse, but when we had them out in the field or in an open greenhouse, there seemed to be a lot more like ants and other grasshoppers and things that would eat into them before we could get them harvested. And also the chickens would get into them, which was a problem, which is why we chose to put them in the permanent greenhouse is because as soon as we get the siding and stuff on that old Help with the temperature issues and it'll keep the chickens out of here. Um, also planting a few different varieties. I like having the different colors because green peppers aren't quite as sweet as like orange peppers and red peppers are the sweetest ones. So if you're looking for a variety of sweetness, I would plant a variety of colors. These ones, as you can tell, are just orange and green ones. And they're actually doing pretty good this year. I would like to see them get a little bit bigger. In years past, we've had quite a bit bigger ones. Hey, thanks for watching and click this video right here.